Well, hello, look at that John Barrymore profile right there. Look at that. Ja, do you wanna say hi? Do you wanna be part of the vlog today? How about I take you outside for a bit? See, my, my trip out here is to vlog. His trip out here was to get to play in someone's yard every day and have fun. All he really looks forward to in life is sniffing things and having me as a friend, I think. Well, good morning, everyone. I hope you've been enjoying our Alabama trip so far. We are gonna be doing more Alabama today, and then we're gonna be taking off for a little while. Today, what I wanna do is I wanna go to Huntsville, and we're gonna check out the Rocket and Space Center. Why not? It's an amazing looking place. I drove past it on the freeway, um, and when I saw these giant rockets outside, I said, reminds me of home. I'm from Dayton. U.S. Air Force Museum's like the biggest of its kind. They have tons and tons of stuff and just tons of planes and all kinds of air and space stuff outside. So I've grown up loving this stuff. We're gonna go see more today. Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. Are you enjoying Alabama too? I can't take you to the Rocket and Space Center. They'd wanna keep you. Ja, at one time they used to experiment with monkeys and send monkeys up into outer space. They could very well decide to do it with chihuahuas and I can't afford to lose ya. Look at those eyes. He's such a good dog. Well, I'd say we found it. Let's go on and explore the largest space museum in the United States. Scratch that. Largest space museum in the entire world. They have a couple of statues here that are dedicated to men and women that fought in the armed forces. Now I wonder if they're talking about the flowers here or the rockets. Wow, take a look at that. Oh yeah, and you gotta have that. Check this out. There's so much free stuff before you even go in to look at. Look at that. That is an A12 ox cart. Article 127. Take a look at that guy. Wow, it's souvenir heaven. Perfect. Let's enter space. Or did we? There's a big, I mean, that might be the biggest bust I've ever seen this close to me. Uh, Werner von Braun, first center director, Marshall Space Flight Center. Oh, and that looks like that's his office. Wow, interesting. Look at all the medals on the table. This is really interesting. It says that when Von Braun was only 15, he began reading Hermann Oberth's books and articles about rocketry. So he designed these models based on some of the things he had read. It's really interesting. A man who really is responsible for all this. It's 15 year old ideas. So you guys thought I was joking earlier when I said I couldn't bring Jock because they might want to send him up into space. See, they would have. You're probably wondering why I'm showing you a drill. Well, because of work on the rockets, they needed portable drills that didn't have a cord, so they were invented around this time. Here's a living in space exhibit. The rescue. Yeah, you know, as much as I'm interested in traveling through space, don't really think I'd want to do the whole bathroom experience, you know? It's so pretty much, I think, basically crap in a bag. Pardon my French. Check out the spacesuits. Kind of cool in Ohio, I vlogged, you can go to the Armstrong Air and Space Museum and see some of Neil Armstrong stuff. Boots. 
So this is a mobility suit. While traveling through space, you have to um, stay active. So they had like a space bike and they said that this suit right here helps to um, ease the mobility. And so it helps you uh, keep your muscles and everything active in outer space so you don't, um, they said you can come up with what's called the Benz. The Benz was a disease, not just the Radiohead album. Now let's go explore some Apollo. That is the nose cone of an unused missile. And they may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? Why 35 years ago? Why the Atlantic? Why does Rice play Texas? We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and the other thing. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. And that's a satellite. This says these are Warner Von Braun's Tools of the Trade. It says that this slide rule would belong to the chief designer of the Soviet Union space program. Here they're showing that Kennedy was the main man behind the, the uh, space race, trying to get that going until obviously he was killed. In 1963, which wouldn't get us to the moon till 1969. Here's a letter from Werner von Braun to Jacqueline Kennedy, letting her know that um, the status of all of everything that JFK was getting started, that they were proceeding and telling her of the launching of the Saturn I rockets. And here are a copy of letters that were written to Dr. Werner von Braun in 1964 from Jacqueline Kennedy saying, you know, thank you for your letter and um, for the kind words about my husband and saying that, you know, that he hopes that it will continue and that people won't forget. This is the first spacesuit, a diving suit for space. Here they have this mannequin here representing a protester. Here are some civil rights pins. This is really just kind of showing the times that we were dealing with, the fight for peace, what was going on while the space race was happening. And of course we had to have something to keep people informed. So why not put a television in every household? And here the newspapers are letting us know we landed on the moon. Here are the vehicle operation binders from Apollo 11 and part of the team. Here's a quarter scale model of a command module. Now this is interesting, it says you can touch the moon. This is a uh, slice of a lunar meteorite. Huh. And this is the Apollo A7L spacesuit. You can see the, uh, the name of the astronaut Lind faintly on there. Most everything's faded off the suit. That's definitely seen some use. And these are hand casts of our original astronauts. Michael Collins on the left, Neil Armstrong in the center, and Buzz Aldrin on the end. Some of the gloves and moon boots. And the various versions of bubble masks. says this is a 148th scale model that shows the Apollo LM CSM saying that the Eagle has landed. 
It's actually two pieces right there. And they've got a little interactive area here for kids. And this is showing the landing devices, the sensors, so when it landed it would have a softer landing. Now this was Werner von Braun's idea for a Mars shuttle, circa 1953. A winged spaceship. It's an interesting idea, isn't it? And then of course that's a model of the launching system. And there's the space station. Not actual size. Now this is an astronaut training sphere they brought from Johnson Space Center. Kind of interesting to get in there and look around. And these are pieces from Apollo 13. The one on the right is an engine fragment, and on the left, that's the uh, command module lithium hydroxide canister. And this is just commemorating that historical event of when Snoopy, an animated character, went to space. And this is the first electric car in space, and they actually allow you to get up inside of it and take pictures, so let's do it. Look, I'm finally in an electric car, and it's the first one. Take a look at the command module here. For a car, a command module. That desert suit looks an awful lot like a uh, stormtrooper, doesn't it? And if you're into the flight simulator experiences, they have like five or six of them here. You can land on the moon, fly a rocket. Oh, let's walk in here and see what this is like. Check this out. All these simulators. Different type of simulator too. This is like the simulator where you feel like you're actually in the in the moment. Right inside NASA. This is really cool. I love this kind of stuff. You get to go through all these. Oh. MREs. The office. <laughs> and I think this is part of the space camp. They actually have a space camp here on the premises. Vlogging on the moon. I think they forgot the gloves for this one, but I'm no astronaut. What do I know? Oh, nice. I don't know what this is. I'm going to guess just by his pose that if you get bored and you want to fight somebody, this is, your, this is the guy you fight up in space, right? Now we've made it outside to what's called Shuttle Park. Don't worry, that's just a, a replica. They wouldn't leave the original outside, I would hope. So it's a replica of Enterprise. So Captain Kirk would have flown that. Holy cow! Oh, what's this? It's all locked up is what it is. Oh, take a look at this. They even have a mock runway here. And it leads you up to a NASA shuttle training aircraft. Which is pretty interesting. Take a look at that. Got the NASA logo back here. And it looks like this is all space camp training simulators. However, we can't go in because we are not part of the staff or the training. Yet. 
Now there's actually quite a bit more to this space center, this museum, like I said, it's the largest of its kind in the world. So we're gonna save some more for another time that I come back here because I plan on coming back to Alabama in the future. And we can't go in the space camp stuff because none of us are enrolled in space camp. So we're gonna head back and hang with the Joster. Look, there he is, there's my buddy. Hey, what did you do while I was gone? Lay on the concrete and enjoy yourself? Okay, well, you're in my lap now for the rest of the day. Well, my friends, we're going to call it a day. Thank you, Julie Almanzor and Palace Meeks for making contributions to my channel. And yeah, obviously we did not see everything at the museum because I intend on coming back here in the future and I'd like to hit the other buildings um, and kind of break it up. I think sometimes, especially with um, space museums, it can get a little overwhelming. I learned that doing the um, United States Air Force Museum before, so... I want to make it a little bit more enjoyable, so we did one of the main buildings today, and the next time we come back, we'll hit some more of the property. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you all tomorrow from Mississippi. Have a great night, and goodbye.